Well, good morning, everybody. Joel Pal Overland Melon here. Today it's my 35th birthday. Yes, that is correct. I am halfway to the 40s, and I am definitely not a millennial. I can tell you that one thing. So this is my first birthday in a row, not in my birth country. You know, I had my 31st in Siberia, my 32nd in Georgia, my 33rd in London, my 34th in Suriname, and now my 35th in Belgrade, Serbia. So today, I am certain that Joseph Tito's tomb is open today, and so I'm going to go walk down there from my apartment and have a look around. And then we'll also look around the famous fortress of Belgrade before sun goes down. So, it's going to take me at least half an hour to walk from my house to, to the House of Flowers on the other side of Belgrade. But uh, at least it's going to be open today, unlike when I went in on Tuesday last week. So, um, don't... It's this sunny, I don't think I really need this silly hat. I mean, if, I, if this gets, gets cold, you know, I can always get myself a second bean, so I'll just leave it down there while I take out my trash. Well, I just found the bridge that cut through traffic. I should be getting to the House of Flowers in no time at all. After crossing the bridge, it's now starting to become a very uphill battle to get to the House of Flowers. So, as I clearly remember from the other day, the House of Flowers is through this wood from the very back, just past the Iranian Embassy. So I've got my ticket for 400 DNR. Um, yeah, so means I have to go up and around the stairs, <laughs> around the building. Yeah, so it's May 25th for the Museum House of Flowers. So I guess the first thing they want me to do is go to the House of Flowers. So uh, the House of Flowers contains the graves of of uh, Josipa Broz Atita uh, e Javanka Broz. Uh, yeah, so Mr. and Mrs. T uh, Tito. And this man right here is Anton Augustinikik, uh, one of uh, Tito's allies and friends. And certainly he was the commander in the Yugoslav army, like a general who was involved in World War II, I reckon. I think he was a bit too young for World War I. So this is the formation of the history of Yugoslavia from 1918 to 2006. Yes, so this is the monarchy years 1918 1941, with different uh, areas. I mean, they didn't really just divide and say, right, that's Croatia, that's uh, Slovenia, that's Bosnia, and all. So when World War II happened, um, this part, the northern part, was annexed by Germany, the uh, shady parts that were annexed by Italy, uh, the polka dot parts were part of Montenegro under an Italian governor. The greyish polka dots was independent state of Croatia. The, this part was annexed by Hungary. Uh, and then other lines, they say, were occupied also by Hungary. And parts like Macedonia was occupied by Bulgaria. And then this normal part was occupied by Germany. So then War II ended. That's how he redrew the lines. And then at the breakup, this is what happened. You got one, two, three, four, five, six separate countries, seven if we possibly, but it's not for me to discuss. And in this exhibition are like gifts of our leaders gave while visiting Tito in Yugoslavia. So we've got things from Kenya right here. Um, yeah. Mongolia. Bolivia, um, Ethiopia, hmm, uh, this is also Ethiopia, um, the, uh, hmm. 
me and Ma, Mandalay, oh. mm. no, no, me and Ma, Tunisia, you know, all these different gifts they all gave to Tito. Mm. Turkey with Ataturk, a box from London, England, addressed to Tito, for, oh, ball posters from Sheffield, England. Um, but Bulgarian flask and check glasses, Russian, like, things. Hmm. Mm. Uh, oh, from Ghana, yes, because Kwame Nkrumah was one of the leaders of the non aligned movement. India. Uh, this is from Armenia, even though it was part of the Soviet Union at the time. It's also a Chinese puzzle ball. Uh, drag it, drag it, at the end of World War II, from like Leningrad. <clears throat> We've got uh, a tea set from Romania. And a bunch of daggers from various countries like Morocco, India, rifle from Morocco, a uh, Zanzibar, yeah, the free market. And then portraits of like world leaders. Um, let's see, President of Austria, King Olaf V of Norway. <clears throat> Adolf, the president of Adolf Lobez, Matizo, the president of Mexico, have a dedication. The Shah of Iran, Indira Gandhi. The, uh, let's see, wait. Phil, uh, Portrait of British Film Marshal Henry Wilson with a dedication. And we had uh, president of the Soviet Union uh, when, like, well, an anti-Hitler coalition of like Stalin, Churchill, and Roosevelt, JFK, um, President of Egypt, Gamal Asa, <clears throat> the last uh, Emperor of Ethiopia, Haile Selassie, and uh, this is a portrait of René Coté, President of France, and um, portrait of the Prime Minister of Romania. Our museum has got like Tito's personal clothing, his personal belongings, shoes, his evening wear, and his hunting uniform. And uh, these are some of the kills he actually got while traveling overseas, is what I think they're there for. And also some of the weapons he owned over there. These are some of the medals Joseph Tito was given when he visited foreign countries. So. This is from the Congo, not DR Congo, just the Congo, Mongolia, Togo, Greece. This one here is from Czechoslovakia. This one here is from Japan. This here are uh, the French Order of the Cross, um, Military Medal of France, Order of the USSR, Civil War. Another Soviet Union medal, um, St. George Medal of War with three palms, branches of Ethiopia. The uh, Medal of Victory and Freedom in Poland. The Gorilla Medal of Indonesia, uh, um, given to 1958. The uh, Knight, Knight Grand Cross of the Most Honorable Order of the Bath of Great Britain. The uh, Order of People's Liberation in Yugoslavia. The, uh, what, another or Yugoslav Order. This one here is from another Yugoslav order. I think these are British. Well, no, actually, sorry, order Yugoslavia. I was mistaken. And um, another Yugoslav and Yugoslavia. The key to the city of Cairo. The key to the city of Liberia. Look, look, look at that ivy there. The gift from to Tito in 1979 from the USSR, the key to Pula in Croatia, the key to the city in Los Angeles given in 1971, the 
key to um hmm, like red flag pl plug and uh, engine plug. Eighth third birthday. Let's give him this. Uh, Dubrovnik Summer Film Festival. Jason's Public Park. Hmm. Dan Public. Mm hmm. Yeah. I just left the old part of the museum. I didn't want to film too much in there. I mean, there was a security guard there for all purpose, but um, I didn't want to like annoy him too much. So I, that's why I don't really film so much. Um, oh wait, I've actually gone the wrong way, man. It's like it, basically, they, they tell you you've got to go through like the museum, then you go to like Tito's tomb, then the May 25 exhibition. So now I'm going to go pay my respects to uh, Joseph or Tito. Um, don't, I'm not too sure if they're going to like allow cameras or videos inside. That's just a really respectful um, thing to do. So. I'll, I'll probably uh, upload some photographs, like, of the team if I can take it. So th this fountain here was done by Stretjen Stoljanovic. Fountain with five female figures representing five people of Yugoslavia in 1947. And gives to Tito from the Belgrade People's Committee in January the 2nd, 1948. And here... When you look at it, it kind of reminds you like Greek mythology goddess, but uh, this is an unknown artist's personification of the railway, so railway workers, with um, Greek type of like clothing. You see a soldier right there with his uh, gun around his back, which was uh, done by Stefan Bod, Bod the Ra Bodnav of. Another gift to Tito. Uh, this one, also an unknown person, personification of railway, saying with the coffee arms. It's mm. pretty, but uh, like, get your hand off my penis. This bossy on the penis, people. Uh, this one's done by Franco Krisinik, a fisherman from the 1950s, first cast exist. Exhibited at the 25th Venice BNL in 1950. The Caring of the Wounded by Anton Agostinivik, gifted to Tito from the residence of Zagreb, marking the anniversary of the liberation of the city, May the 8th, 1946. So this is, so this is the House of Flowers where Joseph Rawls Tito was buried in 1980 and his wife was buried um, a few decades later when she died. Uh, I didn't want to film inside out of respect for the great man, but it's a really touching place. You get to see like portraits of all the delegates who visited his funeral in 1980, as well as um, his blue train piece and all the, the, the foreign dignitaries who went on his blue train traveled across Yugoslavia back in the day. So it was quite an honour to stand at the foot of Tito's grave and honour the great man himself. Inside the May 25 Museum, it says it's for temporary exhibitions. This is like a half done map of the world. Kind of a bit of a shame to include Australia, the Pacific Island nations, or even like South America, look at that. In the quality through the analyst photographs in the museum in Yugoslavia. Here's the thing, women were very powerful in the time of Yugoslavia, even after World War II. And then we have various photographs. Of like, like this side, it looks like it's like after World War II. But on the other side, there's like a, really, a couple of like shocking photographs with disturbing content. Uh, so there's even photographs of people who were killed at Banja at the concentration camp I visited a few days ago, uh, like last week. And uh, yeah, that was quite shocking. I've never seen photographs like that before.
I have respect for dead people. I put like um, these covers over some of my photographs saying warning disturbing content. So, so you basically decide if you want to look at them or not. So, this concludes my look around the Museum of Yugoslavia, Tito's House of Flowers. And uh, they're really bare ending like 25th of April uh, museum back there. Yeah, so if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next vlog.